What's going on guys? So there's an Armoff fragrance that is a flat out hype beast and it's not named Club de Nuit Intense Man. Though from the same line, admittedly, it's supposed to be pretty much a spot on clone of Creed Millicene Imperial. We are talking about the fingerprint magnet, Club de Nuit Milestone. Stay tuned. <laughs> Moving into this scent, admittedly not the exact same note breakdown as Millicene Imperial, it does replicate the scent pretty well. You're going to think, at least for me, the first time I smelled it, I thought fragrances like Ed Hardy Love and Luck. I thought Sean John Unforgivable. It's definitely got the similar scent profile to those, but believe it or not, he, here with this Armand fragrance, the quality is definitely much better in my opinion than both of those fragrances. You're going to get greeted with this fruity fresh melon type of smell a bunch of this aquatic watery i think it's c notes is the aquatic note that's in here this is actually quite nice even better than i anticipated it being because those of you who've been following me for a while you know ed hardy love and luck at one time many years ago was my signature scent it was what i wore the absolute most there were stretches where weeks upon weeks i would just wear that a few sprays of that every single day so i love the style of the scent profile and this is kind of the ultimate outside of just getting creed millicene imperial this is kind of the best route to go and it's a fraction of the cost like a tenth of the cost at retail for creed millicene imperial because even from discounters you're going to pay around 200 bucks for a bottle and uh you can just get this it smells pretty damn close the umbrox in here helps with kind of this light shower gel feel. The violet provides a little bit of this smooth, powdery floral touch. The sandalwood's nice and creamy. It's a very woody fragrance. It's very aromatic, it has the aquatic tones. Even though there's no melon note, it does have kind of this melon vibe type of scent to the profile. And it's really, really good. The muskiness here just works well with this ambroxan. It's not too much of a shower gel scent. It doesn't smell like an ambroxan bomb. It just smells great. In the most simplest way to put it, is this stuff smells absolutely great. Surprisingly though, outside of my wife, a few times I've worn it so far, not a single compliment. And it definitely smells like the type of scent profile that will garner some positive attention on occasion. And it may do so in the future, because I know somebody's bound to ask me in the comments at some point, no, outside of my wife, I have not received a compliment on this, but it doesn't change the fact, it smells great. In regards to performance, this is where it surprised me because you can't judge everything off of Club de Nuit Intense Man because a lot of people, that's their introduction into Armoff fragrances, especially into the Club de Nuit line. And those are very powerful fragrances, all of the Club de Nuit Intense Man fragrance, EDT, EDP, Parfum Limited Edition, Pure Parfum, which I haven't tried yet. I'm sure that's crazy powerful too. This started to seem like it was going to be on the weaker side but it never seemed to want to go away this actually goes in the eight to ten hour range on my skin and longevity four or five hours into it it started to get a little bit weaker and i thought okay i might only be getting like six hours out of this but once it got to that point the point of reference that i'm referring to right now it stayed that way to about 10 hours pretty much every time i've worn it nine ten hours and uh the projection 
not overwhelming, not super heavy, kind of average arm's length type of stuff at first for about an hour and a half to two hours before it starts to settle in to this point of interest that I was speaking of with the projection where it really settles into this sillage that's nothing crazy, nothing super strong, nothing where I get powerful whiffs off of my skin, light whiffs of the aroma here and there for hours and hours reminding me it's there, smelling directly off of skin, it's actually still quite strong all throughout this lifespan. So the sillage on it is actually moderate. It's a little stronger than I anticipated because the way the projection calmed down into its sillage, I expected all of it to be much weaker than it actually ended up being. So across the board, this is actually kind of above average because it's very good longevity, average projection, but above average sillage. So it kind of averages out to slightly above average across the board. So performance is not an issue. Final thoughts on Club Day Nui Milestone from Armoff. I should have gotten this sooner, you know. There's so many fragrances, not completely made of money. I don't get everything sent to me. I do buy way more than people send to me. Um, so it's one of those that I procrastinated getting for a long time. I'm glad to finally have it. And now that I've spent time with it, I think it's great. I think the hype it gets is deserved and justified. And I honestly think this is a fantastic eight out of 10 fragrance. This stuff's great. And those of you that are familiar with my rating system, eight and 8.5, warrants a great fragrance. This is a great fragrance. I honestly, and I really mean this, can't see myself getting a bottle of Creed Millicene Imperial. I know it won't be able to touch it in performance. It's in the sweet spot of what I like for projection and sillage and above what I like because my sweet spot, my wheelhouse for longevity is usually six to eight hours. This goes beyond that, but it's what I like where it's pronounced but not too in your face as far as the projection and the sillage stays pretty consistent once the projection calms down. So eight out of 10, I think it's a great fragrance. Well, that's my thoughts and feelings on Club de Nui Milestone from Armoff. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have this and what do you think about it? Have you tried it? Is it not for you? Just cause I'm really into it and a bunch of others are, doesn't mean every single person is. I'm sure there's people that don't understand the hype, don't get it, and don't like this fragrance. That happens with every fragrance. And uh, just really dig it. If you haven't tried it yet, maybe it's time to secure a decant or, you know, it's not that expensive. If you like fragrances like Ed Hardy Love and Luck, you like Sean John Unforgivable, but you wish they performed better, just get this for a few dollars more. Yes, those are cheaper, but this is definitely much better and you're going to get a lot better performance out of it and the quality overall in the scent is better. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Club Dating Wee Milestone and you give it a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. That's a great fragrance. Have a good one, guys.